See, let me scroll through some of this. There's a lot of stuff coming in. Right. Let's see, Tisha of the Jewish Day of Disasters. That is coming up on our schedule. A lot of people are looking at that. Israel has got a prophetic time, uh, time pace in Jerusalem as the minute hand, the temple mount is small hand. That's true. Everything goes through Israel and Jerusalem. Towards Tisha uh, of temple worshipers are now practicing the misbah of the red cow in front of the temple mound. So a lot of people like are looking at that right now as we speak. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. See here we're getting so close now and yet we're paying attention to something big appears to be brewing with the Temple Mount big. Coming Sunday, August 11th, before the 9th of all in August, the Jews will gather into the temple to awaken love. So something going on there. Okay, this is Okay, so um oh, okay, I hope y'all heard that. Um, I have my volume turned up, but um, if you look to um, the screen, or well, if you if you're looking um, on one side of me, I've got a picture of my how I say that I always record or text stuff to myself that um, I've been given, and on the other side, um, you're seeing where I go when I make this video, um, and so you can see the time. Um, it's like 1130 or 1140 something or something like that right now, um, Thursday night. Um, and I had just watched, um, Global Rapper Watchers. I was about to go to bed and, um, he was just talking about the different wars and stuff like that or what's going on with all that. And then he started talking about the, the cow, like a red cow and the Temple Mount. And I was like, what? You've got to be kidding me. Um, because I didn't put on anything, I was still, um, I'm not feeling well today, but I was still, um, going over a lot of things that, um, the Lord was talking to me about last night. Um, and so I was going to finish up doing everything before I put this on. But as if you see from my text to myself, it says, um, so last night or, okay. So last night, early morning. Okay. So early, um, Thursday morning this today okay um I kept having dreams over and over again like I was just like the Lord was around me and he was just talking to me talking 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 and I kept getting images of a a cow's head like a cow a red cow a red cow cow's head cow's head and I just kept seeing it was like a square with the cow's head okay and I was like and I'd wake up and go man why am I why am I hearing about the the cows again, the red heifers, like what's going on? And I'd roll this way and roll that way. And it was constantly about the red heifers, the cows, the cows. Okay. Um, in fact, I even talked to my son about it today. Um, about, you know, I think, you know, it would be easier than trying to keep you know, they need that perfect cow then to keep with all this war and taking the chance, keeping them alive. Like if they have to hide them like under somewhere or something for a big strike, um, it'd be easier to go ahead and do, you know, this is just, this was my mind thinking. I was just talking to my son, um, to go ahead and do the, the burnt offerings and take the ashes and keep those for the temp, you know, um, because I think all they have to do is sacrifice the one. And I knew a long time ago in one of my dreams that uploaded that they had already picked the one they were going to do, like separated it from the others. Um, and we can see that by their names, you know, they named them. So, you know, they have like what they're going to do with them. Okay. Which one's what or whatever, probably, probably I would think, um, and then the other ones, like they said, they'll keep for breeding because they think that they need these extra heifers like for ever because it's not like, you know, that they're going to need this for years to come or something like that. Um, but, you know, the Lord just kept like downloading and talking to me last night about um, the cows, the cows and showing me. That's all I kept seeing was the cows and the cow head and the cow head. Um, oh, I even watched something today, um, about 
oh my goodness, and it was about the cows and why and the purification and they would put the red string the scarlet string on the horns of the cow and then they'd offer the cow and then if god accepted that sacrifice then in this is the old testament then that string would turn white like you know supernaturally turn white and that um what was it 40 years before the temple was destroyed or something like that in the tent or something like that um the string stopped turning white. Like he wasn't accepting the sacrifices and uh, something, the winds would blow open and blow out the candles of the, um, uh, what is it called? The, the candles, the, the t menorah. menorah. I'm sorry. Um, and that was like, uh, 40 years before, you know, I guess the temple, whatever. And so I was kind of just, you know, I heard someone talking about it and I just watched like, um, Oh my goodness. I'll do a whole nother thing about this. This is going to be long, but I'll do a whole nother thing. I just found it interesting that I was watching that and I didn't know something was going on about the, the cows. I did not know something was going on. They, you know, God, God was telling me there was something going on about the cows and to watch because I mean, he's, he's close. He's coming. Right. Um, don't be deceived. Keep looking up keep looking up. Jesus is coming. If you don't know Jesus, come to him. Come to him. Don't, don't delay. Don't delay. Another thing, I just thought it was funny that, um, I, I mean, I usually watch him or I want, you know, I watch Chris, but, um, uh, I thought it was funny cause I was doing something else and I was just kind of listening and I was sitting here and like just distracted a little bit when he was talking and all of a sudden you hear this like tapping, like, can you hear it? <laughs> like, like, and it kind of like was loud and annoying, whatever. And I kind of looked at the, like what he was doing. I was like, is that his thing messing up? Or is he doing that with this, the mouse on his computer? What's he doing? You know, cause he's never done that. Or at least I've never heard him do that. Um, and he was tapping his mouse and I was like, why is he doing that? Or no big deal, but he was just kind of reading and talking or whatever when he did it. But I, I, I was like, what's he doing? You know why? And, um, so I, I thought I heard that's when I heard temple mount and I was like, huh? And so I rewound it a little bit where he starts, you know, and then the tapping came up again. And that's when he was talking about the cows and the temple mount. And I was like, Oh, that's so hilarious. Like I would have just passed through it and not paid attention to it and just listened to the rest of what he was saying about like the wars and everything. And I would have totally skimmed over and not heard, um, the news and information about the temple mount and the cows and the heifers. So it was like, it was like God led him to just kind of be annoyed to kind of tap on his, um, his mouse, you know, to, to knock his mouse around. Um, it got my attention and that's what I needed to hear so I could put this on. So God's tapping and getting some attention. Let's listen.